And today we are back with a puppy named Ogie. And Ogie is one of two pups that we're working with right now. And Ogie um, has, this, he's actually a really good dog, but um, the place that he goes and plays with other dogs, he kind of got in trouble. You know, playing with dogs a little too rough. You know, he's just a big happy lab. Um, you'll see him in a second. So instead of us just directly correcting those behaviors, we're telling you, you gotta pay attention to me. See this right here, it's over there. Ogie, good boy! You so good! What a good boy! Great. What I just did there is, I didn't just do a recall, I said pay attention to me when I call you. By doing that, let's see this. Shelly, good girl! Bye, this is another dog too as well. But why we're doing the recall and making it non-negotiable is this. Uh, let's go ahead and practice for why the recall is so important because then it turns into a no. The no means stop what you're doing, do something else. So let's picture this, okay? I'm gonna go to move my dog that way and I'm gonna say no. Let's see what the dogs give us. So, Nala, come on, come on, okay, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. No. Oh, you're so good! What a good dog! So, my, my no just means stop what you're doing, do something else. And because the dog's understood what that means, it means go do something else now. So actually, this is good. See a little too much hard play right here? No, pager. Good boy! You're so good! That was just my pager. The reason why he understood the pager is that my pager gets reinforced with my treats and my neck. That wasn't just a direct punisher. The dog is not shut down. Let's go ahead and just kind of quickly look at him right here. Let's see. See, he's just going back to normal. It's just he's not allowed to play like that. You guys, if you teach your dog great recall and it's a non-negotiable, you can stop him from anything. Hope you liked the video. Have a great day.